Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the FLIR One Pro. Now, this has been on the market since, I think, roughly 2017, so it's nothing new, but it's still incredibly valuable uh, for a wide variety of applications. Uh, first and foremost, HVAC issues, water damage, uh, those are the type of things that you're going to use this attachment on your smartphone uh, and see instantly rather than wonder. Uh, in my case, I plan on using it in addition to those two primary functions, which it really was designed for, to look at thermals on laptops, something I know that many of you have seen before and probably have wondered, or you already know, this is how it gets done. Now, the reason I went with the One Pro is that it is the highest resolution uh, module of the FLIR family when it comes to using the add-on rather than a standalone thermal imaging uh, product from them. And the uh, resolution is 160 by 120. Uh, this is the micro USB version. Uh, you'll pay more for the Type-C version, which of course will have better out-of-the-box compatibility. In this case, it was a deal because B&H well, they were throwing in a Type-C adapter, which hopefully will work out, we'll find out. And uh, to me, that's not really a big deal. You can see it's only promoting Android on here um, because, well, that's what this was designed for originally. And the product really hasn't changed over the years. So I just thought it was worth sharing with all of you. Again, this is really something that I think anyone can use, whether or not you need it is a different story altogether. So let's see if I can open this up without um, completely destroying the box, which tends to be what I do. Uh, but again, I think there is a broad value to having one of these um, ready to go uh, for just about any application. But of course, it was designed specifically, as I've stated over and over, for general thermal imaging, which is usually to do, as I said, with HVAC and water damage. Um, so this specifically marketed as Android only, which I've already explained why. Let's see if I can get this tab to uh, peel off. And I may just have to cut it. And for me, it'll work perfectly because, I mean, unlike I feel most reviewers that buy this and they're only using it uh, for thermal imaging for laptops, things of that nature, I'll actually be using it on my home as well. So it's a win-win and generally this retails for about 400 or a little under 400 US dollars, which is a lot for a tiny thermal imaging camera that you mount on your phone. Uh, but I think the price I paid for this was roughly uh, 200 US dollars. So it was a no brainer. And right here you have an adjustment for your phone in terms of the way the actual connection is seated uh, so that you can adjust it to your device of choice, which is definitely uh, relevant. You can see the cameras right there, and that pretty much is the entire unit. Not a whole lot else to show. Uh, let's see the balance of the accessories, which is going to be the cables necessary, and they give you a little carry case as well, which is nice, and I think that is pretty much it. Yep, looks like it's it. So you get this little uh, branded carry case, which is good to have. Nothing wrong with that, right? Gives you a place to just drop it in, which is pretty cool if it, if it fits properly, which I think it does. Let's not break it in the process. So that's, I like that. That works. Um, and obviously, this is a go anywhere device. And that's the other thing that's really nice about it. Of course, as I stated, you can buy standalone uh, thermal imaging devices, but you know, I would much rather have something like this, especially it's more affordable and it's still really high res. Uh, you can go with uh, the lower resolution versions. They'll save you some money. You may not need the extra resolution that the One Pro has to offer. I think it's a no-brainer if you get it at the price uh, that I did. I mean, that's just, you know, it seems obvious to me. Uh, now, in terms of connectivity on the device itself, for those of you that are wondering, you can see right here on the back, we have a power button. Let's get that into focus. And we also have a type C port, which is like the little ironic joke from FLIR that there is a Type-C port, uh, but of course that's not how you will be connecting it to your device of choice. Uh, but that pretty much sums things up. I mean, beyond the carrying case, the Type-C cable, and some paperwork, uh, there isn't really anything else to show you. Um, I will be using this, as I've stated, uh, to integrate for content on the channel when I take a look at laptops uh, at length, as well as of course, anytime I have something that I feel like I need to look at in my home. Nothing else in the box, just making sure. But again, this is just a first look at the One Pro. 
any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe, and please stay safe. Later.